He's basically right to have you throwing fire grenades at me. He's a tough guy, so. Use your stealth if you have it. And I can't use my ability on him, so. Kill his minions. It's the only way you're going to get a second win because you're standing in the fire. Oh, he's throwing grenades at me. Crap. Gone. He is charging and we almost knocked me off. That would have been bad. Okay, I've got like eight. I have no health left actually. If you got a chance. Ah, never mind. He's right on my ass. I was gonna say go into stealth and revive me, but that's not gonna work. No worries, just don't die while I'm gone. I'm gonna be back in like 10 seconds. It's kind of annoying to fight on your own, by the way, too, so don't worry about that. This game is significantly harder than the first game. Y'all right back there? I'm gonna send some support. Oh yeah, just shotgun I like. It. Nice. If you want that gun, take it. That is so shitty. It is a really crappy gun, but I'm going to take it just because it's a blue gun. And there's achievements for picking up certain, like, colors of guns and stuff. There's going to be, like, a shit ton of chests in here, so... Blew the way. And anything good? Uh, not really, but I'll take this. Dig the R1 if you want. I don't want it. And we're at Claptrap Ship. Okay. And get ready to fast travel if you've done everything. Let us set sail. Okay, just turn in the quest. By the way, this is like chapter 4 of like, I forget how many, I think like 12 or something. But we're nowhere near further away through the game. Like we haven't gone to Sanctuary yet. So we're going to get to Sanctuary like within the next half hour, I guarantee. This area has three vault symbols in it, but we're not going to get them right away because some of these areas have level 15 guys. In case you're wondering, we're getting cars. Awesome. Why don't you boys run on back to your camp? Oh, good idea. I think we'll just turn around and head back to our no. <laughs> Pandora is a violent and dangerous place. The sanctuary is slightly less so. You'll need a car to reach the city gate. Get to the catcher ride. Honestly, I can't wait to get to a Sanctuary, because, uh... There's a place in Sanctuary where you can transfer loot between characters, so... There, I'll let you get the second wind. Need help? I can reload this fucking gun. Okay, staying still. There you go. Yeah, 
Yeah, this, the lag with DS Steam Chat's kind of like starting to get kind of annoying, isn't it? Uh, it's not too, too bad. It's definitely. It's like not, not the worst ever, but it's kind of starting to show. Probably should have just used Skype or something instead, but whatever. Then again, Skype, the default quality can just randomly drop too, so. And Iridium. Iridium shared too, so don't worry about that. You only get for purchasing like upgrades and stuff. If you're wondering what Iridium is used for, it's basically used to purchase like your uh, storage deck upgrades. Remember last game, you no. could buy those at the shops. Yeah. This game you get them from somewhere else, but you need Iridium to buy them. So you can't just like purchase them with the money you've saved up. Here we go. This machine will digitally construct a vehicle for you. Give it a try. You think murder? Whoa! Unauthorized user up in my grill! You trying to hack my catch a ride? May it help you? Damn it. Oh, sorry. Uh, darn it. A man named Scooter controls these catch a ride machines. He may be short a few chromosomes, but he's a savant when it comes to vehicles. He's locked the station to prevent the bandits from using it, but I'm reading an inactive Hyperion bot in the Bloodshot camp. If you can attach its interface adapter to the catcher ride, I can hack the machine and get your car. Ready to kill some bandits? Mm hmm There's also a hidden chest somewhere over here. I'll show it to you if I can remember where it is. And this is also where the nomads come in, so I hope you have an explosive weapon because they sometimes have shields. Let's put it this way, Jokes. My assault rifle shoots rockets. Okay, then you're good. Ah, oh, shit, he died before I can kill him. Okay, where's a bandit? Where is a bandit? Good thing the rag rode on you, eh? Probably is a good thing, in the long run. Hey, look, there's a bandit. You don't throw a grenade at me? You get bubbled and death. Transfusion's out. In all honesty, I should probably just grab this quest item as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna try to figure out where it is and run for it. There's a chest uh -oh. over there. I got the quest item. Now I am the dead. Need help? Go for the flooring guy. There you go. By the way, if you see a nomad, try to kill them first because they can actually, like, they basically do, like, command the bandits, like, into strategies and stuff. Not too many strategies, but they can basically instruct them to hide and cover and wait or, like, to rush you. So if you're trying to snipe them, they can, like, literally instruct the bandits to, like, rush you. Which is not good because then everything in the area will try to melee you. And that's some pretty crappy guns. Hey, you want the secret chest? I'm pretty sure there is one. Sure. It's like in this back corner, I'm pretty sure if you parkour up this mountain, there is a hidden loot chest right around here. Which, my first time getting it had some pretty decent pistols in it. And this has some level 11 loot that we can't use at all. I'll let you take the uh, sniper rifle. I'm going to grab the uh, assault rifle. It's uh, an electric sniper. Ooh, ooh. That might be really good for you. Okay, just watch watch your step going down because you don't want to fly off the map. But yeah, it's basically the main secret. And I know exactly where all three vault symbols are, so... We'll get to them when the time comes. We're not going to get them all in this session because I know for a fact at least one of them is in an area where there's level 15 guys. Ah. Right. You can get like one or two like pretty quickly though. I'm going to install this thing. As our cyber robot lady hacks the catch ride. Taco, 
Sweet. Try requesting another card. By the way, you can't use a catch rod when someone else is using it, so I'm just gonna spawn this vehicle here. Uh, go up the ass in that. Deploy and teleport. You want to jump in the back of my vehicle? You can, or you can spawn your own. You should now be able to digestruct a car from any catch okay. station. Okay, let's give her. Use one to jump that gap. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna drive past all these bully mongs because who gives a damn? No worries, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, the machine gun car in this game has been buffed a lot, so it's actually useful. And the rocket car has kind of been nerfed a little bit, so it's not as useful. Up the hill. Oh shit. Almost fell off the map, no worries, we made it. Okay. Yeah, shoot him. Yeah, stay in the car. Yeah, please shoot them. Oh, shit. You could have told me one of them was a suicider before I ran up next to him. Yeah, leave that last... Okay, you're gonna need to revive me. <laughs> oh, whoops. Catch up when I get back to Sanctuary. For now, I need your help. My men tell me Corporal Reese hasn't returned the power cord that we need to keep the city's shields running. Bring Reese back to Sanctuary, and you'll have earned your place in the Raiders. Okay, so we gotta go find his uh, butt buddy here, Corporal Reese. Who I believe is this way. By the way, you see these stinging cactus? Don't run into them and don't shoot them because they'll cause electric damage to anything near them. Oh. One of the vault symbols, I'm pretty sure, is up there, but it's all level 15 bad guys, so we're not going to go for that. I'm just going to drive over this quest item. Oh, I can't pick that one up. Sometimes I can actually pick up quest items by driving over them, so... I'll leave that one for you, just in case you need help. Uh, I'm the only one that's going to need help here because you're in a car, but... And there's one more. Okay, you gone. We're good. Okay, so now we have to go through the marrow fields. Which means bully mong. Do actually I can get a vault symbol really quickly right here. I'll show you exactly where it is if I stop hitting bumps in the road that I didn't even know existed. Okay, here we go. This bolt symbol, you can already see it from here, but you need to be on this billboard to get it. You need to like, land on that part and then just basically look up. Uh, I kind of fell off, damn it. You're up there, you can actually jump onto it. And jump, and I discovered mine. And like, it's on the back side of the billboard. You have to jump up and touch it. Just jump and grab it. Got it? Yep. Okay, good. Yeah, I think next time we record this, we're going to have to do a Skype call instead, because the audio lag is... It's noticeably three seconds now whenever we talk to each other, so... Like, at least about in-game stuff, it's noticeable. Okay, I don't, I don't know what I did there, but it was pretty awesome. Uh, let's just ignore those guys, because we need to go around this. Uh, no, we don't. The entrance is actually back there, never mind. I'm dumb. You just take your time, I'll take care of the fucking adult and badass bully mogs. Yeah, we have to get out of the car anyway to get into this place, so... Because it's this way. You can sit there in the car if you want, but Rocket. I'm gonna go do the quest. <laughs> Goddamn bloodshots, there's too many of them! If anyone can hear me, I need help! You're stag bait, Grinder! Uh, 
Ooh, something green. Yeah, green's... In all honesty, I've had better luck finding green weapons in this game than I've had finding white weapons. To be completely honest. No, I meant like the fucking rock. Oh yeah, the rocks. It's like completely you know, fluorescent instead of, fucking room. Yeah, like those rocks, like instead of like using the melee button to break them, you can actually use the same button that you used to pick up items to break them. Oh shit, badass. Get ready. I threw a grenade in there. Badass cycles are like overpowered in this game, so watch. Watch out for them, because they have like freaking akimbo range. Aim for the head, it's the best you can do for them. And there's racks on us. Well, specifically on him, but... Yeah, basses have, like, super long range in this game, so... Which makes sense, because I have, like, a giant-ass club, and I just got one hit. No worries, I got him. Or not. I knifed him to death. No worries, I had the rack. Let's just get rid of these guys. Uh, more rack. Guns suck. Okay. I'll just pick him up anyway. I got purple Reese. If you keep following this path, just random, like, super items and stuff. Okay, where's the racks? I can shit. There we are. Come on, Rack. Always dead. He was one of the first Crimson Lancemen I recruited to the Raiders. Get that power core back, and while you're at it, kill some bandits for Reese. It's what he would have wanted. Oh, well, that's happening. I'm gonna level up again. Sometimes your echo device can't find the precise. And there's a chest up there. For. That's about it. Search the area marked by the big ass green circle on your mini map. Your objective is somewhere in that area. Yeah. Now we get to actually kill bandits as part of a quest. See anything you like? Cause I don't. I already have explosive shotguns, so I'm good. No, I'm gonna swap up my sniper rifle for something else since I haven't been using it anyway. Shotguns, I'm going up close anyway, why not? Healing hypo! I'm gonna equip one of these shotguns I just picked up. Okay. Uh, the I'm next vault symbol. My yeah. Next vault symbol is actually in this area, so it's actually not too hard to find. But you might want to kill a bunch of people because they can. It's kind of like on the edge of a cliff, so if someone comes from behind you or throws a grenade at you, you might easily get knocked off. So, Perfect. yeah, our first optional missions here. You can. It's optional to kill like twenty of these guys, but it's also fun to kill twenty. So. We'll do it anyway. Just watch out for suiciders, as usual. Because suiciders are not fun. Hey, why did we drop the power core? That's so we already have the power core. Great. Jack won't destroy sanctuary today, at least. I get back to the city. We'll meet up once I get there. Welcome to the Crimson Raid. Oh, I'll be in Another I'll see story you. to sing to the cages at home. <laughs> I don't think so. Whatever. I already discovered the vault symbol, by the way. But it's in that corner over there. Where that nomad just came out of the door. And it's basically like right on the back of this building. Like you can see it from here. Like you walk to the end of that bridge. There's a nomad, Joe. Yeah. I just got downed. No worries, I'll get myself back up, I think. You just set off my trap card. Or not, you'll kill him. Oh, I didn't know you were going after the Nomad. Uh, well, when I said I was going after the Nomad, then you killed him. Yeah, it's like it's starting to get annoying. I got this guy, though, that's throwing and grenades at me. You will fall. Yeah, like I said, if you want that vault symbol, just walk to the edge of this little bridge here, and... Uh, it's like on the back of the building. I'm going to go shock and rain. Another one down. Okay, got 
some transfusions. Okay, that was a suicide cycle that blew me up. Um, might need some help here. A weakened uh, nomad. Um, just barely. Suicider. There's a suicide. Yeah, I know. You got the vault symbol? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna switch. Ooh, I got pistol. five badass ranks. We're playing the vault symbol? No. Or was probably, sniping probably some guy in the face when he was climbing upstairs. Uh, it's probably for headshots or critical hits or something. Probably critical hits if you already have five. Oh, it was a headshot. Well, there's badass ranks for critical hits with snipers, and then, uh, like, pretty much critical hit kills with snipers. Or just kills with snipers. Ah, uh, crap, I got down again. You need help? Uh, I think I got this nomad. Assuming I can lead the target. There we go. I got my badass rank for killing stuff in my action skill a lot sooner in this game than I did with uh, the other character. It's mostly because I almost never used my stealth and like while I was playing the assassin. There's a bunch of green pistols up here, but they're all shit. Yeah, we already killed 20 bandits, so we have no reason to stay here. Like only see why I like really search for loot and stuff. But if you want to get the sanctuary, that's where we're heading, so. Like, if you. That's also where the golden key chest is if you want to abuse your golden key glitches and stuff. Though we can always do that, like, before we start recording. Like, whenever we record again. If you really want to. I don't really think we need to abuse the weapons chest right now, just early in the game. It's not like we've been dying a shit ton. Like, I kind of had to abuse it on my single player for multiple reasons, but... Mm -hmm. Like, not for the boss of the game, but, like, for that fucking one tournament that's meant to be done multiplayer. Because they my single player. It's really freaking hard single player. Okay. Someone just jumped down. I've got a nomad. Got him. And there's a the guy that jumped down. I got oh him. my god, he is. Yeah. Done. Okay, we can leave this place that now. That guy was a bitch. Yeah, that's why I use my fucking uh, thing on, because some of these assholes love to run around. Hmm. Ever. I hope you didn't blow up my car either, because we're going to need that to get back pretty quickly. No, I don't think I did. Okay, good. Because it'd be really, really shitty. I don't remember back. blowing it up. Now, how much would it suck if I left in the car without you? Um. Well, I don't care as long as you fast travel. Well, no, because it's going to take you a while. Let's check my map. Yeah, I don't think there's any. Well, there is kind of a catcher rod nearby, but you don't want to walk that distance, I can tell. That would be a pain in the cunt ass. Sorry. Cunt ass. Forgot you're putting this on YouTube. I don't care. I don't care if you swear. I've said worse things in Skyrim. Oh boy, have I said worse things in Skyrim. I try not to curse too bad in my live streams. Yeah, you say that, and then you play Diddy Kong Racing and you do it anyway. Okay, that game is fucking stupid. True. That time has passed. If you let it, this could be an era of order, of peace. Just turn yourselves in, and I promise, your deaths will be quick. Ruin, is that you? Oh, it's the Vault Hunter. Get it! Hey, you like my speech? I was lying about the last part, by the way. I'm gonna spend like, oh, time Fucking Handsome Jack just, like, interrupts the fucking main quest storyline. Because, I, I, I shouldn't say anymore. I got a little secret that I... You know what? You don't need to hear it. It'll probably just... <sighs> Fucking handsome guy. 
fucking like start the main quest storyline, and then he just fucking keeps going with his fucking speech, interrupting the dialogue. I've actually never had that happen before. <laughs> Made it to Banditville, huh? Well done. It'll be nice to see a friendly face when I'm burning that place to the ground. Oh, and I have decided that I will tell you my secret later on. Once you've earned it. 